The greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500 gets underway this Sunday. And IndyCar driver Charlie Kimball, he is racing this weekend. But back in 2007, he was forced to make a proverbial pit stop, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. He's now the first and only licensed IndyCar driver with diabetes to win a race at the highest level and the first to qualify for and compete in the Indy 500. Charlie, welcome, sir. No pressure. Right, I know, it's the Indianapolis 500. So it's the biggest race of the year, every year. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to be one of those 33 drivers on the grid, chasing the opportunity to kiss the bricks at the end of 500 miles. Absolutely, the, 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 that is uh, really, when, when you think of sports and like the quintessential moments in racing, that is it, man. So I wish you absolutely the best of luck. Let's talk about uh, 2007 though. You, I mean, usually you're, you're, you're finding later in life, maybe you get type two, but to find out you have type one, how did you, how did you, tell us about your story. How did you hear about this? Well, I went into the doctor with an unrelated skin rash, but I mentioned that I'd been really thirsty, drinking eight, 10, 12 bottles of water a night. Yeah. Um, I'd lost a lot of weight, 25 pounds in five days. Wow. And as an athlete, I didn't have that extra weight to lose. And, and I didn't know much about diabetes. So when I got that diagnosis, I didn't know what it would mean, what it would mean for my racing career, yeah. what it would mean for my life, if my career would even be able to continue. Uh, but being able to work with a healthcare team and get back on track, Six months after my f diagnosis, I had my first race with diabetes and I finished second. Wow, which is fantastic. Uh, here's my question though, how do you manage diabetes? I mean, the day-to-day -day management of diabetes sucks. Let's call it what it is. It's not necessarily the most easy thing, but on the track, you're in these suits, you're sweating profusely, a hot engine between your legs essentially. It's ridiculous. How do you manage your diabetes when you're, when you're, when you're racing? Well, managing my diabetes comes down to managing my blood glucose. And, and I do that with my nutrition, by taking my Novo Nordisk insulins, but also keeping an eye on what my blood glucose is doing. And with that, I use a Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitor. So I have a sensor on my body and it transmits to a receiver. Every five minutes gives a blood glucose reading. Oh. When I'm in the race car, that receiver actually plugs into the car's data system. So on my steering wheel, speed, lap time, oil pressure, blood glucose, gear, my car and body data right there together. That's pretty phenomenal. It's, it's another gauge to look at on in your car and there's a few of them, of course, but the, you, you couldn't have chosen a better time to get type one diabetes with this technology, huh? Well, I think the technology and the treatment options and the tools are only getting better. And, and that's really a big part of my message to, to the next generation, kids with type one, or to, to other people who are struggling to overcome that challenge. The tools and management techniques are only getting better. Yeah. And if you can overcome that and still chase your dreams, for me, racing and trying to win the Indy 500, it's that much more special. That really is phenomenal, the fact that you're not having to slow you down. As a matter of fact, you're going faster than ever. So we get to look forward to, or are, you, or are your, your team ready to go? You guys must have a little chip on your shoulder, ready to, ready to get this thing going and see what you're, what, see what you're made of. I think we're, we're pretty close to ready. The number 23 car uh, powered by Chevrolet for Carlin this weekend felt pretty good in practice. We've got a little bit of work left to do Friday's final practice, but race day Sunday, it's, it's when it's all to play for. Oh man. Well, I wish you the absolute best of luck. Congratulations on everything. Uh, kill it at the Indianapolis 500 and uh, best of luck on your journey, my friend. Thank you very much. And if people want more information about the Dexcom that I use, they can go to Dexcom.com. And to keep up to speed with me on social media, they can follow me at Charlie Kimball. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlie. You can root him on as he takes the track for the biggest day in racing, the Indianapolis 500. And you'll want to find out more on how Charlie manages his diabetes with continuous monitoring. That's the key. Visit Dexcom.com. By the way, Dexcom is a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.